Have you guys ever taken a photo that you thought would be a great photo only to find an unwanted object or people ruining the shot? Well, today I have a great solution for you. Imagine being able to effortlessly remove those distractions and enhance your photos with just a few clicks. Today we're going to dive into HitPaw Photo Object Remover, a great tool that will save you a ton of time on how you edit your photos. Before we jump into the exciting features of HitPaw Photo Object Remover, let's take a moment to get acquainted with the company behind it. HitPaw is a leading provider of AI-driven solutions, dedicated to making powerful tools accessible to everyone. Their mission is to empower users with effective and user-friendly software. With their photo object remover, you basically get three specialized features, with those being object removal, wrinkle and imperfections removal, and even watermark removal. Now let's take a dive into how this tool can transform your photos. So for example, with this one, you have a great shot, but oh no, there are people ruining your shot. It's super easy with this tool to get rid of those distractions from your photos. And as you can see, with just a few clicks, we have removed those distractions from our photo. And there are a ton of examples of when this can prove to be really useful. But the best part about this is it's super simple and easy to use. Like literally, here's how simple it is. So when you first open the program, this is basically what you see. Now you can either click on this and then find the photos that you want to find, or you can literally just click and drag your photos in, and it will import all of your photos in here, just like that. So you can see all the photos that I wanted to import here. Then you just have to figure out exactly what you want to remove. So for example, with this photo, we want to remove these people from this shot, and there are basically two tools we can use to get rid of them. We have the paintbrush tool here, which will just allow you to click and drag and paint over the things that you want to get rid of, or you have the box selection tool here, so you can make a box selection of the things you want to get rid of, just like that. Now I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool for this one, so I'm just going to paint over the things that I want to get rid of here, just like that. So now that I have my brush selection here, all I have to do is come down and hit preview, and then it will process for a second, and then it will spit out an image with those things removed. So as you can see in just a few clicks, we've now removed those people from this photo. So now you can come down and hit export all, or you can click here if you want to choose where your photos are going to be exported to, or if you just want to export one image, you can come up and hit export on the image that you want to export. And you can see here that that photo has now been exported here. It is seriously just that simple. For example, here's me going through and doing the same thing inside Affinity Photo. If you find yourself removing a lot of objects from photos, this could seriously be a huge time saver for you. But like I said, this is just one feature that this can do. You can also remove wrinkles from clothes with this tool as well, and it's just as easy. So for example, with this photo here, if we wanted to remove these wrinkles, it's basically the same process. You just want to select over all the things that you want to remove. For this one, I'm going to use the brush selection tool again, just to make my life a little bit easier. And as you can see, I'm doing this very roughly. I'm not going in with any sort of detail or anything. You can usually be pretty rough with this and it will do a pretty good job at removing the wrinkles. So let's just start out with something like that. We'll hit preview, let it process for a second. And now as you can see, just like removing the object, it will iron out those wrinkles for you in just a few clicks. Yeah, if you guys remember, I did a tutorial on this exact same process in Affinity Photo, but I basically just did the same thing in a fraction of the time that video took me to make for a very similar result here. Now the last feature I want to show you is something that I find really fascinating, and that is the watermark removal part of this. So with this image, I very quickly and loosely just added a real quick watermark to it, and let's see how it does with removing it. So it's pretty much a very similar process. For this one, I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit, and we'll just select over the watermarks over here, and then we will see how good of a job it does at removing these. So now that I have the watermark selected, we'll just hit preview. And now as you can see, it did a pretty good job at removing those watermarks from this photo, which I find just really fascinating. Especially for this photo having a lot of detail in it, I feel like it did a pretty good job at removing those watermarks from the photo. I really hope you guys are seeing how simple yet useful this could be. I didn't even show that you can use it for stuff like blemish removal as well. Not to mention that HitPaw has a ton of other tools, including many that use AI to help you with things like photo enhancers and background changers. In fact, you can even try their software for free before you decide to buy, and they even have just some flat out free features that you can use online as well. If you want to check it out, in the description you can get HitPaw Photo Object Remover for up to 50% off right now. And for those of you that follow my channel, you know I appreciate it when a company offers flexibility, so I'm happy to share that not only can you get a subscription, but they also offer a one-time lifetime license, which is awesome. So whether you're a professional, a passionate content creator, or simply someone who just loves capturing memories, 
go and check out HipPaw. Their products are super intuitive and powerful. But that pretty much does it for this video. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.